Would you rather be a giant bonfire or a tiny little flicker? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. And you know, some people have like a life verse or they, they pick out a favorite verse in the Bible, and I think that's okay. You know, it's important that we make sure that we remember that the entire Bible is God's word and we don't just focus on one little thing. But I think it is I think it is okay to have to have a verse or two that are your favorite verse, your life verse, or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, one of my very favorite verses in the whole Bible is Micah 6, 8. And it says, He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And that's how my Bible says it. That There are different translations, and they might translate it in slightly different ways, but it all pretty much means the same thing. So when it says, What does the Lord require of you? It's saying this is what God wants from us. God wants us to act justly, which means that he wants us to do what's right, right? And he wants us to do good things and not do bad things. It's a simple concept, but it's hard to do. And it says he wants us to love mercy. Some translations say love kindness. And mercy and kindness and love and forgiveness, they're all kind of wrapped together. It's all talking about being kind to other people. And when it says walk humbly with your God, It's saying that we should be in a relationship with God. We should be reading our Bibles. We should be praying. We should be learning from him, sitting at his feet, and enjoying the relationship that we were always meant to have with him, that we can have because of Jesus' sacrifice. Now, that's just three things. That's not too hard, but the truth is is, is you need all three. You can't just pick your favorites. You need all of them. Now, I don't know about you, but my family likes to go camping. And whenever we go camping, we love making campfires because we, we, you know, we like to sit around it and it's, it looks really cool and it's really nice and warm and it's fun to look at. And we can also roast marshmallows and hot dogs on it. And my dad taught me how to build a campfire. And he said that every fire needs three things. It needs fuel, it needs heat, and it needs oxygen. If you're missing any one of those things, you can't have a fire. It doesn't work. So like fuel is like sticks and paper and that sort of thing. Stuff that's flammable and that burns. And heat is, you know, if you got like a little match, that's how you start it. But then the fire makes its own heat after that. And oxygen is what makes it all work. And there's lots of oxygen in the air. It's what you breathe. If you just have one or two of those three things, it won't make a fire. You need all three. Because like if you have a whole bunch of matches and you've got a whole bunch of, of wood, but you try to light a fire underwater where there isn't any available oxygen, no fire. Or let's say you got this giant pile of logs and it's all it's all outside so there's lots of air there but you've got no way to make a spark no fire you're not going to have a fire and if you got a match or you've got like flint and steel or something like that and you're outside where there's plenty of oxygen but you have no wood nothing no fire you need all three otherwise it doesn't work you're just sitting there holding a lit match and that's all you get it might be enough to burn your finger but it's not enough for a campfire and it's the same way with us and these three things that god requires of us If all you do is act justly, but you don't love mercy or walk humbly with your God, then you're going to be a really prideful, arrogant person. You might be following all the rules, but you're not loving people, and you're not humbly walking with your God. And what if you only loved mercy, and you were only kind to people, but you actually never did what was right, and you also didn't have a relationship with God? It might seem nice, but it's not. If you're nice to other people, but you're not doing the the things you're supposed to be doing, you can still hurt people a lot and certainly hurt yourself. And again, you'd be missing out on the most important relationship you could ever have. But what if all you have is a relationship with Jesus, right? What if you're just humbly walking with your God? Well, I would say I would say that if you are actually living for God, right? If you're actually walking with God, you're going to be including the act justly and love mercy thing. But let's say hypothetically, let's say theoretically, you are walking humbly with your God, but you're not doing what's right and you're not loving kindness. Well, later on in the Bible, it actually talks about this. It says that faith without works is useless. It's dead. If you believe what's right and you are praying to God and and you are, are building this relationship with God, but you're not going out into the world and sharing the love of Jesus with anyone, then you're really only helping yourself. You know, it's like the first and greatest commandment. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's the first commandment. And the second is like it. And that's love your neighbor as yourself. 
Well, it's two commandments, but really, if you are loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, then you're already going to be loving other people too, because God loves other people. God loves you so, so much, but he also loves everybody else. And so if you love him, you're going to be loving others. And so going back to that act justly, love mercy, walk humbly thing, if you act justly, if you do what's right, and you walk humbly with your God, but you don't have mercy, you're not living the way God wants you to. And if you love mercy and you're walking humbly with God, but you don't act justly, you don't do what's right, again, not living the way God wants you to. And it's interesting because there are people out there who do not believe in God. And those people can still end up doing what is right, and they can still end up loving mercy. They can still end up being kind, good people, you know, quote unquote, good people. You know, everybody's sinned, but there are people out there who are pretty good, but they have no Jesus in their lives. And those people are missing out big time. Adding God to the equation of doing what's right and being kind to other people is like adding oxygen to a fire. It just builds it up brighter and brighter and brighter. So you might be able to have a tiny little flicker if you just do what's right and you just love kindness, but you don't walk humbly with your God. But if you want to be a big bonfire, you need all three of those things working together. You need to act justly. You need to love mercy and you need to walk humbly with your God. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would follow what Micah 6.8 says to do, that you would do the things that the Lord requires of you, and that you would not be a tiny little flicker, but that you would be a big, beautiful bonfire, and that you would live the full life that God has called you to.